This is a great emerger pattern. It's called the mole, mole fly. Got a size 16 scut hook kind of emerger hook in my vise here. And I'm using just some gray nano silk because I had it handy. Uh, we'll go ahead and get our thread started right here behind the eye. So we're going to start out with a portion of this fly that will be above the water, um, emerging from the water. And I've got some floral fibers, probably about five or six. I'm going to tie those in right behind, about a hook eye behind the eye of the hook here. And I'm going to just focus on trying to keep those fibers centered on the top. I'll take a few thread wraps. So I'm just going to double this material back over itself and keep all of those fibers on the top of the hook. If I can get my thread to get away from my bobbin cradle. Apparently it got too comfortable there before. So I'm just going to keep those kind of pulled up a little bit just so that I make sure they are going to stay put where I want them, which is right on the top. So what we're going to be working with are some CDC. Um, Fibers. I love working with this material. A lot of liveliness to it. This is a kind of a medium done gray color. And I'm going to bunch up the tops of these just by kind of pinching them, trying to keep a couple of those feathers together. And then I'm going to measure because I want this to be about the length of the shank of the hook and not much more. And this is going to be the part of the fly that's going to be riding over the um, on top of the surface. So I'm going to take that first thread wrap, work on pulling it a little bit tighter, gently, and take a few thread wraps back to kind of secure that in place where I want it. Um, then we've got a mess in the back, which is, you know me in tying, if you ever watch, I'm messy. We're going to go ahead and hold those fibers up and I want to kind of cut them off at a nice angle here. Just about like that. You can actually set those fibers aside and use them for another fly. I'm going to come back down the shank of the hook now. I'm going to get my thread off of the material and onto the shank of the hook just to help secure everything down. Then I'm just going to travel right back up to behind the eye where these materials are located. And once I get up here, I'm going to hold them backwards, all of these materials backwards. And we're going to build in just a little bit of a dam here by taking some thread wraps around the eye of the hook right up tight against the ends of that, those two materials. And that will just help these guys kind of stand up for us a little bit more, which is what we're looking for. I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm going to cut off the floral fiber here just a little bit longer than what um, that CDC is. It's going to help this thing pop in the water, but it'll also make it a little bit easier for you to see. So for dubbing, I've um, I've seen a few things used. I, I like to use um, a possum, an awesome possum. You could use a hare's ear. Um, you want something that's a little bit buggy. Um, something that will absorb some some water as well. So you don't want to go super fine here uh, with a super fine dubbing. You want something that's going to be a little bit chunky. And we will brush it out just a little bit. So once I've got that kind of squared away, I'm going to go ahead and turn my vise a little bit and we'll just finger dub this kind of, I've mixed together some orange um, with some burnt orange. So it's kind of just gives a little bit of a darker um, feel to it. I'll go ahead and pull that dubbing down a little bit to expose some bare thread, which will allow me to kind of travel down the shank of the hook without actually getting any dubbing on it until I get back down to where I want this fly to start. And then we're going to start this one right about in this vicinity here. I'm just going to take that first thread wrap around down here. It's going to be tapered, so I'll just tighten my dubbing as we work our way up. And I'll just take some overlapping wraps that will give us that um, tapered body where it starts out thin there at the bend of the hook and it's going to get thicker the more we move up to behind that wing. I'm 
that's going to do me for dubbing so we're going to go ahead and pull some of that off so i'll just take a, another thread wrap here and then we're going to go ahead and pull those fibers back again we're going to go back up in front of the eye or in front of the wing behind the eye and there we're just going to go ahead and reach in with our whip finisher kind of stroke and hold those fibers back while we take a few turns with our whip finisher right behind the eye here without capturing much go ahead and release that from my whip finisher pull my thread tight and then i'll go ahead and use the back end and we'll detach so with that i'm now going to just take my dubbing brush i'm going to tease out a few of these fibers not a lot um, just enough to give it a little bit of a buggy look here um, and what will absorb some of the water um, but this is a fantastic emerger pattern um, and you'll want to have some of these in your box again if you're thinking about the way the the water is is kind of most likely sitting put my bodkin in here to kind of show but that portion should be above the water that's what you're going to see and our nice little body here will be dipped down into the surface film a little um, to mimic that emerger that we're, we're going for there so great pattern um, catch this fish um, all day long give it a shot